Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 33. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, here we go. We're taking part in the Toyo Tires 450 horsepower Invitational for cars with less than... 336 kilowatts and we actually have a car that is exactly 336 kilowatts which is pretty awesome uh we're starting off with suzuka circuit moving on to sunset peninsula new york circuit and then finishing off with sukuba let's get going all right here we go suzuka and we're off Not bad. So, uh, as well, I had a delivery today. Whoa! Nearly lost it. Uh, my delivery was for um, three uh, disc copies of WRC 1, WRC 2, and WRC 3. Not three of each, but like three copies, one of each. Um, which now officially means I own every single current WRC game of, like, the second revision of WRC. Technically speaking, there are the old ones that were on PS2. But that was sort of, like, the first series of WRC games. And obviously then they did a second series. Um, which is what they're on now. Not bad. Let's see how well this lap goes. Coming up to 130R. I love the uh, corner names on this track. They're so original. Like, there's so much thought put into these names. Obvious sarcasm. This car, though, I believe was one of the first cars to actually hit it. I think Ferra the Ferrari F40 was like 201 miles an hour. If I'm not mistaken. And this car, I believe, was the first like proper sports car. It was fairly accessible that could hit 200 miles an hour. Which is pretty awesome. Obviously, you can fact check me on that because I'm not 100% sure. Let's see how Coming out to the hairpin. That was close.
Not bad. Oh, we're in the grass. We're out of the grass. Result. Let's keep this going. I do love this track with a passion. It's such a beautiful circuit. Not bad. Looking good. We got about one and a half laps to go. Coming up to Spoon. Lovely. Spoon has always been a pain in the ass corner for me because of the fact that it always... It's, it's a double apex corner. It's designed that there's actually two apexes. Not bad. One more lap to go. Higher and higher. Not bad. Got it. Ah, oh, the poor simp boss, Aaron. Keep punching him. That's brilliant. Let's get that Simbos health down. Do breathe the freshest air. Not bad. Nearly. Nearly completely binned the car. Nice fast corner there. There we go. Heading around the corner for the final time. And across the line. Lovely double air. Not bad.
anti roll bar upgrade discount. Woohoo! Alright, here we go. Race number two. Sunset Peninsula. Oh god, I got hiccups. Brilliant. Bam, 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 bam. Oh dear. Oh no. God, even I have no clue what the hell that was. Uh. Bum, 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 bum. It's a serial killer. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Rear of the car got very close to that wall there. Tarantula. I like how we've only got two levels worth of amateur cup and manufacturer. So once we hit level 30 and then level 35, that's those two finished. And pretty much the rest of the levels will actually start coming much quicker. Because we'll start filling up the earlier ones. Because at the moment, all of these levels, we've got like nine categories to go through. And each one has a, either one or two events. So for level 25, this is going to be extremely long. Same as level 20 was extremely long. When it comes to like level 40, there'll only be about four categories of events for level 40. Don't play with my side, I might sting ya. Knew that was gonna happen. Let's see if we can get that other Porsche to slow down a little bit. Go on, chat. Keep punching Sir Fallen. Let's kill him. Yeah, that Porsche is catching up. It's not going to be long before um, we're not actually really going to see cars like this in racing games. They're all going to be fucking electric. I got no problems with electric cars, but in video games, they're just not exciting. Like, in real life, sure, the acceleration is just breathtaking. But in actual video games, not really that exciting. There we go, we did much better this time. Not bad. Poor simp boss, Jesus. Nah, who am I kidding? We gotta beat him up.
Oh, we just about saved that. Oh, that could have been scary. We did take out a number three board there, though, so... Somebody's not going to have their breaking point. Not bad. The car's all wonky in the back. It's weird. <laughs> Sir Fallen's getting a batter in right now. Oh, I love this song. One More Moment by Kino. Beautiful song. It was featured in uh, Forza Horizon 3 on Hospital Records. And uh, it was actually one of the few songs that actually got me absolutely in love with drum and bass. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do that where I turn assists on. Or off um, to do certain things and when I move from like controller or wheel just makes it impossible whenever I'm on wheel I always have all assists off except for I think stability control I leave on just to make sure I don't completely bottle it every time I put my foot down um, traction controls off though and all that when it comes to controller I have traction control off but I leave um, What's it called? ABS on. Oh yeah, I always have brake line on. I can't adjust quick enough to different cars. Because I'm just not that good at it. So I still need my braking line. I don't actually need the line itself. If Forza gave me like a point rather than an actual line, I would still take that. Because I know the driving lines very well. Right, here we go. Time for New York. But yeah, that is a soup bra. <laughs> Hopefully those photos are all right. Yeah. I doubt the... Because the thing is, right, all of the older motorsports, like Motorsport 1 and 2, they all had a crap ton of body kits, but they were like... Oh, we got away with that. <laughs> but yeah, um, some of the Supras, uh, some of the cars in this game, in the last one, they had quite a lot of body kitted cars, but they were like separate vehicles. So you would buy a Mitsubishi and then you would buy the Mitsubishi such and such edition or whatever. The Supra AB Flug Edition. Whatever. Which, to be honest, I don't have a problem with the way that they did it. But then all of a sudden, I think it was when Motorsport 5 came along. And like the Horizon games came along. That all the cars just had to exist as standard cars. And you had to put body kits on. Which then meant that the cars then had to somewhat look like their original selves. And I mean, the amount of body kits that are actually in, like, Horizon is nothing compared to what's in Motorsport 1 or 2.
I hate to say it, but I think Turn 10 and Playground Games are one of the laziest studios out there. Because they don't do enough to change the game and do what the community says. I obviously still love the games. They are good games. But it seems like now, now that they've got the framework of what a motorsport game should be after like the first game, they just became quite lazy once it got to like the Xbox One era. And that's saying something. Like, I even think Ubisoft does more effort into their games than what Forza does. The only difference is Ubisoft puts effort into the wrong places and always makes the wrong decisions when they make their games. They put the effort in, but they put the effort in wrong. And it's similar to uh, EA as well. Though EA puts a lot less effort than Ubisoft does. But still put more effort than Turn 10 on Playground Games. Yeah. Like, they have the backing of Microsoft. Now, if you think the amount of people that buy Game Pass to get Forza Horizon is unreal. Yeah, for FM2 to FM5, they were alright to recycle because FM5 was just basically just running all the games at a slightly higher resolution internally. But it, it, the quality was still there. But the problem is, once you get onto like Motorsport 6 and Motorsport 7, you know. There are some crazy ass dogs in the neighborhood at the moment. I'm not even joking, there are two dogs that are barking their asses off in their gardens like crazy. Earlier on today, we were sat down. I was trying to get a good couple hours sleeping. And at 4 p.m. till about, well, I think it was about from like 2 p.m. till about half five. The dogs were outside screaming their heads off. We're just constant barking. It was like woof, 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 woof. Stop for a second. Woof, woof, woof. Just constant. Oh my god, it's driving me fucking nuts. Because they've been doing it like constantly. Meow, meow. I would much rather it be a cat. Having a constant cat fight. Because at least it's like... Meh! And then it stops for like two minutes. That dog was just constant. Woof, 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 woof. Doing me nothing. Cat fight in the mud pool. <laughs> This is actually the uh, Forza Horizon 2 menu music. Do, do. I'm excited for the Horizon game, specifically Horizon 2. Because going through that again... Oh, that was not good. Because remember, we're trying to complete every single event possible in these series. Um, Horizon 1 didn't have an event list. So I've just got to do every race once. And that should be good enough to class as 100% for Horizon 1. Horizon 2 actually had a full-on event list. Which is crazy. And that's why I think, actually, now that I think about it and when I properly look at it Horizon 2 is probably the best Horizon game what is up Epic welcome how you doing my man um Horizon 3 did exactly the same as Horizon 1 there was just a load of events so I think all I've got to do is just complete events 
for that. Maybe do some championships. I think to complete those events, they have to be done in a, a championship at some point. And also done as an exhibition. Which again should be easy. You got all the barn finds. Um... Oh yeah, you gotta wait till the next stream, Aaron, before you can use them again. I can't. But come by in the next stream. Do it again. Hands, now it's your turn. Ah. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, Epic. I don't know. I think you're on your own with that one. All right, here we go. Let's go. Rem, rem. This is the uh, final race, by the way. Ah, uh, Underseer. Come on. Bad. Nearly at 20k channel points. Nice. That's like eight days worth of just attacking the simp boss non stop. <laughs> Let's keep attacking the boss. Every time I close my eyes. Do you know what I really wish YouTube will do? Um is with YouTube Premium do like a subscription thing where they give everyone a free YouTube subscription like channel membership because you know how Twitch when you get Twitch Prime it costs you what eight pound a month for Amazon Prime you get Twitch Prime which gives you around about a dollar fifty of a Prime sub right well YouTube could quite easily do that a similar system where Per month that you pay for YouTube Premium, you get a free one month subscription to someone's channel, to a channel membership. Whether that be, um, I don't know. Like, a value of £4, for example. That's a third of the YouTube premium subscription as it is. So not too bad. And you get to directly support a creator. I think that would be a really, really good idea. Because they've done it before. They've done it where, like, for a month, as a trial, they'd give everyone £5. To just join someone's channel. And then they basically pay out like £3 to the creator. Which is good. And it really needs to be a thing that they add to YouTube.
Been around 149 damage. Not bad. Collider sculpts the turn in him. I'm gonna get like a mega attack on the simp boss. Um, and that will cost like. I think I'm gonna set it up to cost like 10,000 channel points. And it will do up to um, 1,500 HP damage. Something like that. What do you guys think? It's a random of between 750 HP and 1,500. And people can only do it once per stream. You up for playing Payday 2 later? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't got it set up. So. I haven't got my VR all hooked up and I really can't be asked to do it. Actually, no. I won't be able to anyways because I'll be editing these videos. So. Maybe tomorrow. If I'm not busy doing something. Or Friday. Um, but tonight, I definitely can't do anything. Boo, 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 boo. Yeah, I still can't do it tonight because I've got videos to edit. Yeah, Payday's pretty cool. But Payday 2 VR is so good and so fun. I don't think I'd be able to play normal Payday again. Just because it's such a laugh to play Payday 2 in VR. That's fair enough. Yeah, Payday VR is quite an intense title, so... I sort of don't blame your PC for wanting to hang itself when you do try and run it. Whoa, let's go. Okay, yeah, I fucked that one up completely. Woohoo, my flywheel was damaged. Yo, Aaron, if I had a thousand bucks of disposable income, I would, but uh, I don't, so I can't. Alright, not bad. 
18 grand. You definitely don't need more RAM for VR. RAM doesn't affect VR performance. I mean, you think a game like Beat Saber only has, you know, takes up three, four gigabytes on your PC, so it definitely doesn't need... Well, yeah, VR chat will need a lot because VR chat is so poorly optimized because people who make levels in VR chat don't know how to make it properly. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.